but I totally not ignored the fact that the boy was really having difficulty going upstairs, which I thought is because of him. It was actually the metamorphosis which was presenting as so rising on me and so all over. So because they could call me, I still remember and asked, did, did you ask him that whether he has any difficulty recently noted in climbing stairs and look at uh, the, the grain of the power and the pelvic turning and that really turned out to be uh, Thank you so much for sharing your experience. Now we move on to our last, uh, last topic. Uh, there is also a question by Professor Nikhil. <laughs> Firstly, uh, whenever we uh, ask the dermatologist to do a biopsy, we always get no for an answer. So it is come up to you. However, Dr. Nigel has also asked this question that when dermatologists advise skin biopsy to make the valuable uh, diagnosis, uh, firstly, uh, how would you instruct and how does we instruct or usually instruct us to get the biopsy about the collection of samples, especially for histopathology and mineralogy. Would you be kind enough to guide us on this? And which lesions to biopsy and which lesions to not to worry about that? Is this lesion under any undiagnosed skin lesion with cutaneous symptom or with systemic symptom should be biopsy? What do you think? In biopsy, definitely, it is important to have the lesion to die. Basically, the problem arises in cases of cutaneous vasculitis. Because of cutaneous vasculitis, like the Nauchon infratra or cutaneous malignant vasculitis, it is recommended that biopsy should be done on the fresh meal within 24 to 48 hours. Or the papillary purpura, like if you see the papillary purpura, then we, we ask the patient when did he give this meal. Mostly we do for the last so many weeks or months, weeks or days. So we ask the patient again that whenever the patient develops fresh pains, then we approach us. This becomes, say, a likely logistic and difficult for the patient. And then we also advise the patient, it's important for direct immunophoresis, that is the perigenal biopsy which is done for the game in case of the splice. But otherwise, I think in cases of like DAP or in cases of uh, uh, sarcoidosis, the duration is not a problem. I think. Sarcoidosis, even if the new is old, we could show to the platformers. In cases of healthy DNA, it could show us the typical changes of DNA. The only cases of vasculitis, uh, and, and how would you, and how should we put the sample back? Uh, how would you direct a dermatologist or the dermatologist should direct us that there should be two samples, one in formalin or, or in one in Two samples sample should be done. One uh, special medium is available, special container from the Avama labs or even from the Chukai labs for direct immune process. So, we will fully have this container in this medium in our center. So, this can be punched by also from the DN and uh, punch from the Palestinian skin. Professor, you can also ask a question. Sorry, we've got a brilliant session. So, with the spiral 